Hey guys, welcome to Kyren's video quest log. Today we are going to be running the quest Stopping the Sahuagin, and we are going to be starting in the Wavecrest Tavern in Corthos Village. For more info on the game or this quest, check out the description below the video. Upon leaving the tavern to get to this quest, you're actually going to have to go out to the exploration area for Corthos Island, which is just right up here. Go ahead and enter that. And we're going to go up this path a little ways. And you can kind of see up there, Gunnar Bowerson is who we need to talk to to start the quest. So talk to him, hit the top answer a couple times, or read and have a conversation with him, up to you. And this is where we're going is down here. So go ahead and jump. If you don't have Featherfall, it is deep enough water for you to be able to jump and survive. Steam billows from the hidden Kill a couple monsters. And go ahead and enter the quest. Now our goal for this quest is basically to just make it to the end. If you make it to the end, you're good. Now on hard and elite, there will sometimes be monsters that spawn back here. The air grows damp and forward as the ancient right So you don't want to really get attacked from behind, so try to just remember that and then turn around and kill those monsters. Um, if they come at you from behind, I mean, they'll chase you through almost the entire instance, so if you don't kill them, it can be quite frustrating to be fighting something else and have them come up on you. Once they're dead, you're going to go down the waterfalls. If you don't kill him fast enough, he will ring that gong, which brings the people from around the corner pretty much immediately out to greet you. Uh, if he doesn't ring the gong, then you can kind of do it at your own pace. Uh, at this level, there really isn't much difference between him ringing the gong or not ringing the gong. Kill your breakables if you're going for the vandal or other types of bonuses and continue that. Now here we do have a spot check available and we're going to spot and it's going to come up and show us these two doors right here. When you flip the switch behind either one of these doors, a monster does a spawn open. as the gate Somewhere opens. So you can either just quickly open both doors and deal with both monsters, or you can do it one at a time. Really depends on the class you're playing and your abilities at that point. You hear Let's a gate the ratcheting switch. open somewhere behind you. And again, here's our spawn. See, even when you're a higher level than them, a one still misses, guys. <laughs> Um, this is a, what, what I'm fighting now is actually a random patrol that patrols the next little area and sometimes ends up up here. So once those are dead, you can kill your breakables. If you aren't sure if something's dropped, rather than going up there and looking, you can always use your game sound to tell you. It, it's a very obvious sound when something drops out of a quest. Chest or bear. Okay, so at this split, you can go either direction. You can go left or you can go right. The door does shut behind you as soon as you enter the door. And this lever will control which one you want to go. So if you're through. with a group, make sure you get your whole group beyond one of the doors, or if you're splitting up, whatever, just make sure. So I'm going to take this door first. Stepping in, see the door closed. And we have our gates open for our two monsters. You hear ratcheting machinery. Open the Something door to in the sound of distant snoring 
warns this you is that a big you are not ice alone chamber. Here. If you're careful, As you, you may see, be this able door to take is the closed, by so surprise. you can't go back through if you're by yourself. I already showed you right, so now I'm going to show you what's to the left. To the left is going to be a trap, one sahu wagon, and a few breakables. Now, this sahu wagon you can actually kill without even, you can use the trap to help kill him, and you can do it without even tr going into the trap. If you are a rogue, disabling this trap, you actually still have to get by it to disable it. The disable is right around here, if I recall correctly. Oh, I apologize, it is on the other side. It is right around there. So we are now going to pick that up and we will so, be back in the main nighter. Now you can sneak up and get these guards without aggroing them, but you can also just end up killing them. Just be careful if you're at level and you aggro all of them because they can pack quite a punch. In the center of the room, you do see an ice trap coming out of the snake's mouth. And over on this side, which is the right side, as you're facing it, left side if you're looking at your map, we have a valve. Both of these valves are going to need to be turned. There's one just like it on the other side. Mischief bonus and turn in the valve. Now, right here, it tells me to do a spot. This spot is going to reveal this trap right here and here. However, this trap is perfectly safe to walk through until extravagant gong in this you turn room looks this capable valve. of truly ear shattering. Turning noise. this valve turns on that trap. Turning the valve again. Turns it off. So just be careful of that, uh, just so you know what that valve does. Back around this other side, there is a door leading down that we can't open. So we have to do a swap check and let's see what's behind here. We have a fake door. Now, this valve turns off the middle doors once you shut them. And this gong is how you progress. With the you must bring it twice. You from the larger I'm gonna position myself. If you see stops. the ice kind of out to my left. Watch it on the, the second, second ring. strike of the gong produces a kill. We have fallen ice. ice. Now there's ladders that lead you down, or you can just jump down if you want to jump down. And you don't have feather fall, there is water in the middle that you can safely land in. And on each side, there is going to be a lever that must be switched. These levers open a gate in the water. After you've done one, run across, kill the other Zaha wagon, and pull the lever. From here, you're just going to take a nice a swim. If you don't water. have a very high swim, or you're worried you can't make it, uh, and you don't have water breathing ring or something like that, just take off your relief. gear. That should the help. Seems slightly cool. Here we have another spot check upon coming out. And behind this is going to be two enemies and a rush shrine. 
kill those enemies, and then you will have access to the rest shrine and the resurrection shrine should you need it. This valve opens up that door that we saw previously up near the gong. Now, this is handy if you are, say, somebody who can't swim very well. You can always have, if you're in a party, someone go ahead and open this for you so you can come down this way without having to worry about swimming. So continuing on, we're going to keep going. Now we're going up a waterfall the and we're going to come to a couple the of must be near. Uh, mobs to kill. And these mobs are actually going to the chest once they're dead. You can see the chest over on the left. And there is my ransack bonus. This chest could have, I think, one of three different boots. There's winter boots, boots of nimbleness, and one other one that can pop up in here. Uh, the items are sellable if you need it. And up ahead, you can see we do have what looks to be a boss. Now, this part can get kind of tricky because this boss likes to hide behind some ice traps. Uh, if you are not ranged and you can't, you don't want to walk up to her through those ice traps, especially if you're at level. At level, those ice traps will just flat out kill you. The frozen monsters, you can destroy. They are considered a breakable. They got me my ransack on it. Now, if you don't have a rogue to disable these traps, then you're going to have to time it properly. If you do have a rogue, the disable control boxes are right about here and right about here. So they're coming from here, here, and here possibly here so you just want to time it right see right there yep time it right to jump over and once you turn the puzzle tiles that will actually turn off the front facing jets for any party members that might need to come through that can't avoid the traps easily to be able to come through so then we're left with this puzzle box and our goal is to get the ice trap flowing this way instead of forward like it was. So to do so. Just need to arrange the puzzle tiles so that they go into the mist solidifies in ice over the ancient creature. And now it's time for the other one. You need both jets to affect a thing of this size. Now, as a note, these, this puzzle is always going to have the same solution, no matter when you run it. I'm just happy to be terrible at remembering stuff like that, so I don't always remember. That completes the quest, however, every once in a while, we will have a rare spawn come out from right here. I've only seen it once or twice after you've done that. But once you're done, you can hit finish to leave the quest area. And then I'll show you where to turn it in. So once you've Steam exited the quest, from the hidden entrance to you're going to go forward, complex. killing anything that's on your way. Great progress towards your slayer if that's what you happen to be going for. Otherwise, you're just killing them because you don't want to have to deal with them any other way. Once you come around the corner, there is a little path up here that we're going to follow back up and around. All the way around. So that we can get back to Gunner Briazen. And once here, turn in the quest. He gives the same items every time you complete the quest and they all sell much like the other starting quest for the same amount so if you don't need any of them just pick one and that is how you complete the quest stopping the sahawagan i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching in addition to the video quest log i also stream via twitch.tv 
You can find information for that in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe.